Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome to Majesty Sussex Report After Hours. Hi, how is everyone doing? It's, it's, it's a Friday when I am recording this. It is late, so I know that this is not going to be uploaded until possibly after midnight on Friday. So it, theoretically, you will not be seeing this until Saturday morning. So I've decided to call it the after hours and change the set a little bit to reflect after hours kind of behavior. So welcome. And I'm Antonio, by the way. Um, Fridays usually is our music playlist Friday. I've got a playlist ready for you. I have more than usual French um, music on it because I was in a French kind of mood and um, was listening quite a lot to French music this week for some reason and truly enjoying it. Some of it is quite romantic and passionate and all of that. I love that kind of stuff. So today in our after hours, um, so this is going to be an extended sort of <laughs> playlist, playlist um, Friday. And just had a couple of things that I wanted to um, speak to you folks about. Also, if this is your first time around this channel, um, welcome. This is a channel that is in full support of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. If you don't like them, goodbye. No need to stay on this channel. No need to enjoy our content or anything. Thank you so much for clicking. The content is not going to be for you. Adios. If you want to stick around and perhaps, I don't know, get some new information, stick around. Now, subscribe. We do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the, the um, content, um, thank you for giving us a chance. Subscribe. Likes, thumbs up. It helps the, arg the algorithm get our channel um, exposed to more people. Um, a few of you have said, you know, that it's been hard finding this channel and my friends i have nothing to do with it unless i pay money to promote it uh, it has everything to do with the algorithm and how many people um, watch the channel how many people click like um, especially in that first um, i would say first 30 minutes when a post goes up um, the algorithm looks at that uh, how many people are responding within that first thir um, 30 minutes do leave a comment if you wish to do so. If you're going to write a comment that is derogatory or offensive or demeaning or hateful towards the Duke and Duchess of Sussex or towards me, it's not going to be published. It's going to be deleted. Thank you very much for engaging, but you're wasting your time. So with that said, okay, with that said, now, it seems that the last two episodes sort of... Um, made some people angry or upset because talking about racism and talking about how some of us have to navigate this existence and this life with institutions that have been constructed just to serve one type of, 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 of person who was born with a certain um, um, less pigmentation on their skin in other words a white person a european descendant person because our institutions are built for them okay so it seems like it's upset at a few of you so i've gotten so much hate the last two episodes it's fascinating to me so many derangers and people who want to tell me, express themselves to me, as to who I am. Baby, 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 baby. You don't need to tell me who I am. Because I know who I am. But just for the heck of it, let me share with you folks some of the things that, 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 that were said. So here are some of the things that were said. You are pathetic. Am I? You're the one who watched the episode and then decided to leave me a message. Thank you anyways. Hi, Megan. How many more channels are you going to have spilling all of your hate? Aw. 
You think I'm Megan? Stop it. Stop it. Are you, are you coming on to me? Are you? Are you? Because, listen, if I were Megan... <laughs> Thank you anyways. But I'm not Megan. <sighs> You're ugly. <laughs> I'm ugly. I'm uh, oh, your <laughs> your creativity and your way with words. Listen, I am flumped right now. I am flumped. I don't know what else to say to you. Listen, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. All right. As long as my mama thinks I'm 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 all right, and the people I want to think that I'm all right, I'm all right. You know, maybe what you see is a mirror. Huh? Have you thought about that? Hey, but thank you though. Thank you for the message. Hey, scammer and a fraud. Stop scamming people with your lies. Lies. Hmm. Is that you deflecting? Do you know what deflecting means? Hmm, if you don't, look it up. But hey, thank you so much for your comment. I'm laughing so hard at all the lies that you, you, you are telling. You're just like her. Narcissistic. Wow, you folks... Is that the only word you know how to spell? Narcissistic? Because you folks love to use that word. I'm thinking, hmm. I wonder if it's a reflection of something. Maybe it is. But hey, thank you so much. I appreciate your... Um, your, your, your beautiful word and, 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 and your sentence construction. Um, you have so many insecurities. Where should I begin, you pathetic person? Oh. Well, let me see. I could list some of them that I've got. But listen, I'm working on them, okay? I think we all have insecurities. <laughs> how many do you have? You have... <laughs> I don't know how many you have. I'm not going to pretend like, like I know, but I'm sure you have some, Right? that you felt the need you felt the need to actually call me that and leave me a comment you know what's funny if you think i have all these insecurities when i don't care much about things or i'm secure in myself secure in my thought my opinions i don't need to prove anything to anyone else not only that I don't need to go on someone else's channel and tell them how this they are, how that they are, or how whatever they are. You know why? Because I am self-assured in my thoughts, in my opinions, so I don't need to preach to someone else about them changing or calling them names and any of that. But merci, thank you. So delightful. Oh, oh, someone said I had mental issues. That I should see a psychiatrist. Listen, therapy is fantastic, by the way. I would recommend that for you also. Get a therapist. Just, just you know, you sit there once a week or every other week and you have a chat about things in life. And you know what it's good for? It's good that you get a different sort of opinion, right? Because sometimes you can see the world one way and you're in that tunnel and that's all you see. And sometimes you do need someone else to say, hey, you're in a tunnel, by the way. Like, there's more than what you think there is. But thanks. I, I, I do have a therapist. I do, and it's fantastic speak, speaking with her. She's, she's great. Her and I have a blast every time we, 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 we talk. Um, I'm virtual sync... Si sorry. I'm a bot. First, I'm a bot. Then I'm virtue signaling... Stop with a race baiting all the lies you tell. Wow, so a person's experience that they're relating is our lies to you. Because you know me, right? And you know the people that left comments expressing and exchanging their experiences. It says a lot about you. Um, let me see. What else was it here? Uh... Yeah, I said already this one here. I'm laughing so hard. Insecurities. Oh, you, 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 you're pathetic and ugly. Uh, yeah. The rest, just whatever. Listen. 
thank you so much for your advice for your commentary on my looks for your analysis of my psyche uh, and my abilities and not thereof and so on thank you now let me make something very clear thank you for spending time on this channel it does help so thank you for the help with the algorithm if you honestly feel the need to comment and leave that kind of commentary for me if if if, if it's psychologically you need to do that listen I don't want you to explode or to have a nervous breakdown or to go psychotic. Leave the message. It's okay. It's going to be deleted anyways, right? But if you're going to get something out of your system, right, and put it there and take the time, like time, listen, you don't get back time. You don't get it back. So the 10 minutes or the 15 or the whatever you spent type in there to leave me those messages you're not getting it back baby you're not sweetheart corazón mi amor corazoncito papacito mamacita mon amour you are not getting it back laddie okay so if that's the way you want to spend invest your time hey I hope you live in a free world and that's what you're able to do. So go ahead. With the grace of God, with the grace of God, and almighty powerful that God is, I say thank you. Because what your commentary tells me is that the work that is being done, the light that's being shone on topics and subjects that are important to discuss, you would like to stifle. You would like it to never come to light. And that is why you hate Megan with such a passion. Because she brought light into the dark corners where all your nastiness, dirtiness was just hiding with the rats. That's why you hate her, baby. Because she brought the light and exposed all the wickedness within you, outside of you, and around you. The grace of God. The beauty of God. I wish you all the best. May God bless you. May God help you. May God heal whatever wounds you carry, that you suffer with. May God give you intelligence and wisdom and knowledge so you can open your mind and eyes to see that which you neglect to see. Leave the light on, my friend. Feel uncomfortable within the light because then it may encourage you to see yourself. Get a mirror. Look at yourself in the light. Tell me what you see. Tell me what you see. Everything that you thought you knew I do things better, you know I do The rhythm I have can't escape it Baby, don't fight it, embrace it De la cabeza lo que El ritmo te mueve otra vez Suena el tambor, así es mejor Deja esa timidez Don't fight it, just do it You like me cause I move it Everything you want gonna come full swing I just need you to do one thing Muevelo
I absolutely love, love that tweet. Like, it just filled me with such joy and happiness seeing that little boy just go at it. And I think that is what life is about, right? It, it To see his uniqueness, to watch him just not care and just go with the music and the rhythm and just having a good time. And he is just in his element. He is just in his real self, his authentic self. And I really hope, I really hope they don't, they don't kill that, um, that joy that that boy has. Because he's just filled with such joy and, and, and unashamed, unapologetic of all that he is and his, da his dance moves. Like, come on, come on. That boy is putting a lot of us to shame. Um, so great. Just absolutely wonderful. And now to our regular um, program, <laughs> even though this is a new kind of concept, the after hours, let's, let's see, let's see how, how, how we do. So big thank you to um, Gracie. Gracie, thank you so very much uh, for your super thanks. Much appreciated. Um, any sort of contribution donations or so on, it all goes back into the um, channel. And um, I thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart. And also, big thank you to HJ Sid, or Sid, thank you so very much. Again, all of this goes back into the channel in any way that I can, you know, make things better, purchase images and so on. So thank you so very much. It is much appreciated. And I wanna share with you also a comment um, that was left that just made me absolutely smile and yeah, uh, after I will have a couple of things to say about it too. Um, okay, so here we go. Keltum Senhauser. Thank you, Antonio. Indeed, the Sussexes and particularly Megan have received so much negativity since they met and subsequently the bullying gained speed and scale that I decided in 2019 to reject all the publication that Google offered me on them. And then little by little, the SUSSEXSQUADIS movement was activated with determination and commitment to begin to make me feel that there are people like me. Only then did I begin to have hope and the certainty that I am not not alone in understanding this aggression towards this magnificent, charismatic, and courageous couple. Thank you again, because the most important thing is to realize that over time we are on the right side. Yes. Let's be aware that together everything is possible. Merci de faire partie de cette chaîne et de votre commentaire. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so very much. Um, such a wonderful commentary. And I will say that my sort of search or my experience was, was very similar to yours. Had to, same as you, had to search because I kept thinking it can't be possible that I'm the only one who thinks that all this information feed that we are receiving is nonsense. And this, this, is, this is such a, I think the proof of what we have been talking about in regards to media bias. And it's not just even media bias, it's how the technology is delivering that information to us. Because why is Google serving us that information? I never asked for it. I never asked for it, right? Same as um, Microsoft. So why is it being fed to us? And it's, 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 if you were to ask, I guess, these people, they'll say, oh, it's the algorithm or, or, or whatever people are reading more of, whatever's getting more clicks. So if these articles are getting more clicks, they're the ones who keep who's showing up in, in our feeds. And if you're a person who is quote unquote neutral, right? If you keep seeing these articles all the time, you're gonna you're gonna form an opinion without even knowing anything or knowing most of the details, you're gonna form an opinion. So it it's it's really concerning and it's really concerning that for the truth 
you have to really do the work to get to the truth. And as I said in other podcasts, not a lot of people are going to dig for the truth. All right. So according to Kaiser at Celebici, um, the King Charles and William have been talking about um, stripping the Sussexes of their titles. I am so sick and tired of that whole conversation, to be honest. Do it. Just, just, just do it. So if there's if they're trying to, I don't know, leak information and get information out to through the royal rota and all these other people, and inform to scare the Sussexes to stop visiting countries that have asked for them to visit for one reason or another, whether it's for charity, uh, Invictus, or um, Archwell, go ahead and do it. Because let me tell you something. You do that, and if you think they're popular now, do it. Please go ahead and do it. Because everyone, everyone, even the people who are on the fence or whatever, will see it for what it is. And if you want to open that can of worms, go ahead. Let's get it through Parliament. Let them, you know, make it so. And let's see what happens next. If you think your monarchy is irrelevant now, <laughs> please go ahead. So I see that it's being reported that Daddy Sausage Fingers has reportedly been considering stripping Mother and Daddy Sussex of their titles after the Nigeria trip. You know what I say to that? <laughs> Do it, Daddy Sausage Fingers. Do it. See where the chits fall at that point. I mean, because at the end of the day, they're still going to be talked about by the British media every single day. Every single day, the British media, the trolls, the lunatics, and the derangers spend their entire day talking about Mother and Daddy Sussex, whether it be in a good way or a bad way. It's Mother and Daddy Sussex on the tip of their lips more than you, Lord Baltimore, Mumbles, and the rest of that family over there on Saltine Island. So go ahead, strip them of their titles because all you're doing is exemplifying them even more, making them more popular than they already are because y'all keep talking about them every single day. So go ahead, strip them of their titles because they're still going to outshine you on their worst day. I mean, how you hate from outside the club because you can't get in. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. I absolutely love her. <laughs> the way she also delivers. Um, it's just it's just magnifique. It's just absolutely wonderful. Um, <laughs> sandwich being oh Lord. Um, so funny. It, it, you know how we usually you you look at a headline one of those headlines from you know those good for nothing tabloids and newspapers or whatever the click kind of bait in kind of headlines and it will say things like worst wedding i ever attended or i attended um the megan and harry's wedding it was the worst you know and you see the headline and there is no context really and even when you may read the two paragraphs that they have, they don't give you the entire context about it. <laughs> but <laughs> I was going to say, dude, here, <laughs> it's going to it's going to give us the context. So uh, miss you uh, will give us the context. Well, was it? Well, I can tell you now, uh, it was the ro worst royal engagement I ever did, a royal wedding I ever did, because. Harry was determined to keep the newspapers away from it as much as possible. Everything was done on long lenses. I mean, I can't tell you, I had an 800 millimeter lens photographing the guests arriving. And uh, the, the photographers they engaged for the job 
uh, was there was five feet away. You know, it was just hopeless. And uh, and then the carriage shot when they went past me in the carriage, they looked the other way. So for me, it was a disaster. And um, well, was that deliberate? You were made to feel unwell. I felt so. I felt it wasn't just me. It was the whole of the, the, the British press. You know, they were uh, in many ways um, badly treated. I think it was. Um, Harry was angry with us, really, because some of the things that have been said about Meghan, and quite rightly, some of the things that were said about Meghan during the engagement were pretty harsh. Uh, I want to sort of mention them now, but they were some of them were pretty unfair as well. Uh, and so he was angry, and um, and I felt, you know, we were punished for that. And and in fact, I never got one picture in the paper published from that day. So there it is, folks. He, 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 he just said it. I mean, I don't think I need to elaborate on anything he said because anyone with capacity to analyze, anyone with capacity to formulate their own opinion based on what someone else is saying, he, he's laid it out, right? So the newspapers or the tabloids or the media were saying some awful things about the Duchess of Sussex. And her husband, well, at that point, her husband-to-be, was upset, rightfully so, and he admits it too, at the press. So, he might have said, I'm not saying he said this, but any logical husband to be or any person would say listen these 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 people and we've seen this and they get angry about it i don't want them close to my to my wedding ceremony put them in the back i don't care wherever but i don't want them close so they're angry about that and you see how this cycle continues and what they do is they actually want to get to Harry. And the best way for them to get to him is through her. So that is why they continue insensibly to publish article after article about her. They keep saying these nasty, disgusting things about her. They keep making her the, 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 the center of focus so people can hate her more and more and more. And that's what they did to Diana. Right? One minute, they loved her. Oh, she's wonderful. Oh, she's doing this. Next minute, they just hate her and they write all these things. And that is part of the documentary that I watched the other day. The photographer. Like... He is hunting this woman down in her face. They even scream at her. They call her what they call people who work the streets. To get a reaction from her. Can you imagine? She's in, and he, he is relating this. He's the one who is telling this story with a straight face. Oh, they used to call her names and stuff. Yeah, she used to, her kids were there with her, but, you know, we needed to get a reaction. We needed to get a photo that we could sell. No remorse whatsoever. None, none. And these derangers want to tell me that I am this or that or I am delusional? Listen, get, get a brain. Get the capacity to think. Go down the Wizard of Oz Yellow Brick Road and see if, you know, the wizard will give you a brain. Because an eight-year-old can figure this out. So they are angry. And this is the way they put these stupid headlines. And he's explaining it. And at the same time, he's going, I didn't get any pictures. You know, that was really upsetting. There, there is also no empathy. It's all about them. It's all about they didn't get the picture. They didn't get to go to um, um, Nigeria to get any, any pictures or they could report back falsehoods. They, they, they're angry 
at him because he refuses to play part in this dangerous game that they like to play. This game that is mentally exhausting. This game that killed his mother, allegedly. This game that is absolutely unhealthy. And they've basically threatened him to say, well, if you don't play the game, we will make sure you don't succeed or you don't get anything. And they've got the royal backing behind them. And they've been trying for, what, six, seven years now. And in the last couple of years, this couple has showed them that they can still succeed. Regardless of all the nastiness and obstacles that they've put in front of them. By the grace of God, they have and will continue to do so. And they're angry. I have no doubt in my mind that they've got goal and their goal is not a good one. I say please continue to pray for the safety of the Duke and the Duchess, for their children, for Mamadoria, and for everyone in their circle. Because we have also seen the nastiness that they started to attack an entire country because that country dared to say, we would like to have you in our country and host you. Because we recognize the good that you do, the value that you bring. And besides that, that's, that, that is, listen, that's marketing dollars that Nigeria can't, can't afford to, to um, spend. So even for the Nigerians that are or were not happy about the visit and said, you know, that money could have gone somewhere else. Listen, I don't, I don't disagree with you. In every country, governments have to make a decision. And I'll tell you, the decision that the government of Nigeria made was a good one because that money that they spent with inviting the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex, trust me when I say they couldn't afford to spend that kind of money in marketing to market that country and to bring a light on the good things that are happening in that country. Because that is the way countries sort of, or, or, or um, you get to get your product to get more attention, right? And a light to be shone on the things that your country is doing and countries do this all the time so i don't disagree with you look when when canada had the olympics the winter olympics in vancouver like we were all excited very happy to have it but there was a, a very um portion of the population that said listen we have a lot of homelessness here why are you spending a billion plus dollars to do the Winter Olympics when you can take that money and invest it in housing and so on for the homeless that we've got here. And I don't disagree with them. But for government, they're weighing to see, okay, we can spend a billion dollars here in, 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 in the Olympics, but we know the, the, the marketing dollars and tourism that we're going to get back is worth a hundred billion and maybe that way we will have more money and more finances in order to funnel then and have the budget for um, housing so it's a calculation that governments make so it is incredible to have him say what he said and for any person, as I said before, with a thinking mind to be able to put one plus one together. Because it is laid out for you. It couldn't be any more simpler. And I quote Harry again, right? When, when, when he said, like, if, if, and I mean, this is me paraphrasing. If, if you don't see it, if you don't understand it, I, I, can, I can't help you. I can't help you anymore if you don't get it because they've laid it out for you. So having a good time, mixing with people, stayed here for about three days and there was nary a peep 
Not one word was said about his safety. And then somebody who came at the behest of our Minister of Defense. We are now making all of this noise about Nigeria being unsafe. You know, I, I, I think, and, and you know, I, I, I segue a little bit. For some of us that have read the Daily Mail extensively, the presentations of white football players, for instance, are clearly different from black players. So you find a Raheem Sterling who buys his mother a house. They find a way to make it crime-related. Oh, Raheem Sterling, who, by the way, has a tattoo on his leg, wears a lot of bling-bling, but a house for his mother. And then a white guy, you know, goes on a drinking binge, and they call him fun-loving. So you see all these pockets of, of racism, of intolerance, of deliberate misrepresentation just to push an agenda. So the agenda now is that there's nothing that Harry and Meghan can do. To call Nigeria's um, uh, human rights record, right? Such thing that you compare to Nazi Germany, something we're going to talk about. And then we're going to talk about also all the other name calling by all the other British media, BBC, uh, and a couple of other ones that seem to have a, a thing for Nigeria just because these two went to Nigeria. Okay, so let's... Time, how they were welcomed. People have an issue with that as well. And that's a different story. But the UK media just couldn't help but trash Nigeria because they wanted to talk about the people that they really dislike right now, which is Meghan Markle and Harry. Watch this clip will come. And the clip that they showed basically was that one where, um, you know, who um, called Nigeria a country similar to the one where, well, Nazi Germany, basically. The thing that I love about this conversation is that Nigeria and other countries on the continent are not shying away from bringing the conversation to the people and also calling out the racism that exists within the UK press, members of the media, government, and elsewhere because they are the ones who allow this. No one has said anything. No one has reprimanded that show or those shows or those um, so-called journalists who had the gall to call a country and compare it. They are so uneducated, so filled with hate that they can't figure out one plus one. The thing that I love is that this sort of pushback is essential, it is needed, and it's to put that corrupt and racist media and press in its place and to let them know that not every country is going to stand for their nonsense and be intimidated by them. And the lack of foresight of these people is mind-blowing to me because Nigeria has over 200 million people. It's a powerhouse on the continent of Africa. As Nigeria begins to develop more, this is a market that a place like the UK cannot ignore. They will become, they will come knocking at Nigeria's door asking for, for, for trade agreements. Nigeria has one of the most highest educated population. And you mean to tell me that your stupidity is so big, your hatred is so blinding 
that none of you, none of you, it's, 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 like, it's like Brexit, you know? You're all just so gullible. You buy into this hate, hate of the unknown, hate of the foreign, hate, hate, just, just, just hate them. Not to, let's, let's have an understanding. No, let's just, first thing we'll do is hate. Because you buy into all the farages and all the nonsense that they peddle. Because you're too lazy to actually go and seek out the truth. You're so stuck in your mentality of imperialism that you can't see the truth if it was even in front of you. I applaud that this conversation is still happening. I applaud that people are still pick, picking up on it and talking about it because it is essential. And I'm so happy that Nigeria said, I don't think so, buddy. I don't think so. Not our country. So Nigeria, I say thank you. Thank you. So I was going to talk about this um, and spend a little bit of time updating what Concha in Spain has said and so on. But you know what? I'm not going to. I, I'm... I'm, I, I'm not, as I've said before, this whole thing makes me uncomfortable. And whatever it is, it is. I am just interested to see how this story ends, where they take it, and how many people are going to buy into it or believe it. So whatever it is, it is. You know, let it be. Um. Well, wrapping things up now, um, thank you so very much. Thank you for your support to this channel, um, for being here. To all the new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Hope that you continue to enjoy the content. Hope that you interact and, and um, leave comments and, and so on. I am very happy of our um continuous improvement and of my knowledge also of continuously trying to improve um content and how it's delivered to you and i am preparing for tomorrow um some more stuff about nigeria uh they had their um sort of like their 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 television actor cinema and stuff awards uh, not too long ago and let me tell you you think the Met Gala is fashion it's not uh, it's not I was just blown away by the beauty and, and the creativity and the fashion and all of it there is such talent and I thought you know I'll just put something together and bring it um, to all of us I hope you will enjoy it. Um, I'm enjoying putting it together. I'm trying to find creative ways to, to, to um, deliver it to you. So hopefully you will like it too, okay? So that's what I'm working on for tomorrow. And thank you for checking out this After Hours episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And um, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, um, do take some time to t take care of yourself. Um, take care of your mental health. Take care of your, your, your inner core, your spirit, your soul. It's really important. And if you feel at any time that some of this stuff gets to you or it's too much, look, walk away from it for a while, okay? I had to limit my news intake I don't I've, I've, I've I'm an addict to news and I've had to just limit myself to watching like 20 to 30 minutes a day and then I get some other stuff on online and um, that's it because it was really putting me in a place that I was not happy about and it was affecting my my mental health, my mood, my, my everything. 
what I've done is to take care of those things, but also find ways in which I can create action. And even though it's a small thing that I may be doing, but know that I'm doing something in order to help the causes that I believe in. So thank you once again. Thank you for supporting this channel whenever you can. And um, take care of yourselves. Take care of your loved ones. And to that stranger that may come into your path, be kind. You never know. I love you folks. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to continue to bring you content and to do what I enjoy doing. Thank you. Until we speak again, much love. Thank you.